I want to talk about some of the cool endeavors. Um, so piano is a mainstay in your life. Drumming, singing. You also do some other things on the industry side. Mm -hmm. I like to put one right here because I know you've been working on some projects. Yeah. Um, talk about how you balance, because <coughs> there's balancing your time and then there's balancing your brain waves, right? Mm -hmm. The ways you have to think about those different segments. So talk a little bit, if you will, about, about that and how you do that. Um, that's and, the, and what you do, because they don't know. Yeah, I got you. Well, I, I, I've grown, my first album came out in 2015. Got, I put out an I won a competition called the Longest Month Jazz Competition, which is like is kind of a it's a cool situation. You get a lot of money and you get a record deal. I got the record deal. I decided to sing. It was a drum competition. I decided to sing. I got uh, I put the record out in 2015. It got a Grammy nomination, and basically my career took like a hard left turn, you know, because I was just playing drums for everybody. I was in school here at UNO, I was still in grad school, and my career essentially just went like fast, like real fast, you know. Luckily, I was being honest, because if I wasn't being honest, it would have been a train wreck. But I was being myself musically, you know. Creatively, I was really being myself. So it didn't, it didn't, like, it didn't affect me in a, a, a negative way, but just to say life sped up really quick. That being said, me making albums is something, I've always been like a musical person, but as I started to make albums with other people, as well as with myself, I started to realize that I had a gift to make music and moments with people myself first, but then other people. And so produ producing albums has become a love of mine and what I call my 50-year-old goal of production, meaning like I want to bring people to my big, big house and you live in the house and we like make music in the back. That's like my dream, you know. The road is actually not my dream. My dream is come to Florida, which is where I'll probably go by the time I get older. I'm from Jacksonville, Florida, by the way. So come to Jacksonville, Florida, yes. Nothing there except the Jaguars. Um, <laughs> and then you stay in my house. We create for months, you know, my wife cooks and we make music. That's like my dream. That being said, this that dream started about two years ago. The first project I started on was Michael Kilmore. He's a, a vocalist, he's like a musical theater guy. But basically, uh, it was number two on the R&B charts when it first came out. Produced the record here in New Orleans at the Parlor Studios. And it was my baby. My first record, me and Jim are working on the record as well. And yeah, it's, it's, it's been cool. You know, there's a few records I have in the can. There's a, there's a young lady named Abby Diamond who used to go here to uh, play with that I actually, that record is actually supposed to be finished, but that's a long story. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but there's a few other records. There's a lot in the can of, of people that I'm working with. And that is like one of my goals. So that production side of things, creative energy that I give to myself as an artist, you have, whenever you're working with other artists, that, that's a real doozy. And I'm learning how to deal with that. Because you gotta think, if we're writing music, you know how long it takes to put out a song? Like to really sculpt a song, one, and finish it? Like it's like a, it's a toil, you know what I mean? It's like the right harmony, the right melody. What are you trying to say? You keep asking yourself that. What am I trying to say? What am I trying to? It's like over. Just imagine another artist doing the same thing, and you having to oversee their artistry, not yours, but oversee their artistry. Meaning, make, making sure they're being honest with themselves, making sure that they're comfortable with themselves. Production is such a wide term, but when you watch, anybody seen Q Quincy the documentary? Q. Oh man, heavy. Uh, another one is the, the Godfather. <coughs> Is it black, what, black Godfather is what it's called? That's another deep one. Because what it is, is it shows you that the production term is so wide. And, and the number one thing is managing the emotions of people. That's like the top. So it actually is not even music. It's like, can you read the emotions that are coming off of my skin at this moment? 